everybody um so this is a little bit of an awkward moment because uh it's been a while since i've talked to you and a lot has happened since i last was here um yeah so <laughs> i'm not gonna recap everything that happened because you you saw it uh mira got shot she reunited with her family she now has a therapy dog uh, who is currently up here, little Daisy. She's beautiful. Uh, she, I just looked up Doberman and the, I picked the most popular one on the gallery. Uh, there's a couple things that I do have to talk about that um, happened uh, that I didn't cover in the video because uh, I didn't know they were happening. So actually while I was doing the cutscene, I normally uh, record the cinematics in my screenshot save. I forgot to do it in the screenshot save this time, so everything that happened was canon. Which leads me to say, uh, A, Arya, when I was playing Arya, her father died while she was at the hospital. And I just wanted to bring that up because she did not know that that was happening or at least that's what i'm saying but when she got back home she found out that her dad in fact did die and that's super sad and i just wanted to say something about that because that sucks and i'm sorry for your loss aria another thing about aria uh when i was playing her i found out she actually has a major crush on shock which is very interesting considering uh, this whole time I was like, no, we're all just like a trio of friends. There's never going to be any romance between any of us, but uh, <laughs> they didn't really want to listen to me. You know, they they decided they wanted something else. They decided to have some self-agency, um, which honestly is starting to grow on me, the idea of them being together. Um, so I might like try to get them to do that. This episode is going to be a little shorter on the gameplay side. It's also going to be a little bit chiller, um, which is hard to say after what she just went through, but that's exactly why I'm saying it. Um, obviously, she's much closer to aging up, so I do think she'll be doing that next episode. Um, also, <laughs> I did uh, quickly need to mention the fact that Theo died and I had to resurrect him because he decided to freeze to death outside of the hospital. Um... I would have kept it. I was considering keeping it and just bringing it up later that he died and making it like part of the story, but I need him for some. He can't die yet, so. Also, canonically, uh, I could not get Mira to actually be shot without being killed, so she's like, she has no idea she was shot, pretty much. <laughs> like, in game, she doesn't. I gave her bullet holes, but they are not in the right place because I couldn't find them in the right place but it'll have to do. Uh, I am also going to be super real. Uh, it took about six hours to record the cutscene you just saw, and that is not an exaggeration. It took six hours, uh, maybe even seven, if I'm not mistaken. 
uh, which is really bad. That's super bad. Um, that it took way too long, uh, and editing it took another like four. So all in all, I just want people to know how much work I put into it because it's a lot. It's really a lot too much, but I am just a lot of a perfectionist and I actually deleted some of the stuff that I originally had in there because it would have, um, I deleted some of the script. Oh, it don't get me started on the script. The script took a couple days to write too. So all in all, these episodes take a lot, but I'm going to hit play and I guess we're just going to start playing. The original plan was to play through Winterfest. However, today was supposed to be Winterfest, but I actually didn't have any reason to remove it as Winterfest. I don't know why I did that. Now that I think about it, I guess I thought it wouldn't be Winterfest when I started playing, but it is. Uh, right now she's wearing gowns. Uh, she's got a couple different gowns that she's going to be wearing, and I think for now I'm fine keeping her that way for the moment, and and when she ages up we're going to give her all refreshed outfits and hairs and everything anyway. Oh, Saffron's feeling clingy. You know, that makes a lot of sense. I think for the most part this episode she's just going to be staying staying in. Uh, I don't think she really feels like going much of anywhere anymore. Uh, if anybody comes, they'll probably be coming here. Apparently it's really cold, so does somebody want to make it warm in here? Because everybody's always doing the shivering motion, and as I said, Theo just died, so yeah. <laughs> yes, Daisy is friendly. I gave her really nice traits because I figured if you're a therapy dog, you have to have nice traits. Yeah, this is our last episode in this house, probably, which is... Oh, I don't know how to feel about it. Oh my god. Stop it. I'm not... Stop it. Girl. Oh, speaking of neighborhood stories, actually, I should look at neighborhood stories because I don't know if her dad... If Arya's dad was an elder, he might have died of something... Something that... Other than old age. It might have been too long ago, actually, for me to be able to tell, but... Oh my god. Theo Machias in the Blank household is now an intelligence researcher in this secret agent career. Huh? Huh? Okay. Well, nobody... We don't... Okay, these two... These guys aren't going to know about this because they are not in contact with Theo. And Theo... Oh, I'm really trying to figure out how this is possible because he can't quit his job. You saw in the cutscene that he said, well, I can't do that, but... They didn't really let him elaborate because they just wanted him away, which is fair, honestly. Um, but he still doesn't want to disobey his boss because Mira's life is on the line, even though he already broke that trust, the boss did, even though Theo didn't do anything, seemingly didn't do anything to make his boss mad. So he's like, why did you try to kill my kid? Because uh, that was a whole leverage thing. So it could have been because she just knew too much. It didn't really have to do with Theo or it could be something else. Maybe Theo did something wrong that people don't know, that he doesn't know about or something. But my main guess to what this is, is he's a spy. That is my main thing. I think he's a mole because he can't. Oh, it's just so, uh, uh, Mira's going to be a secret agent. So like, how do, I don't know how to feel about this. Is this like, is he a mole? What do you guys think? I really want to know what you guys think because I'm like, this is crazy. Neighborhood Stories never does anything interesting. Ugh, it never does anything interesting. So the fact that it did this time, I'm happy, but I also don't know what to do with it. So nothing of note has happened recently. Darn it. Okay, I don't know what happened to Arya's dad, but I could probably check her family tree. Uh, if I wanted to. So we'll invite her over at some point, maybe do that. Uh, I also want to check in on how she's doing and check in on her and Chuck because, uh, as I said, there's a crush going on there. I definitely think everybody in the household would just be very easy on Mira after this. And I feel like she doesn't love the babying, you know? She, she doesn't really want to be treated like a baby, but, um... I also, okay, forgot to mention this uh, because I got distracted by Theo. Um, she is not very popular. I'm removing that because that doesn't make any sense. Um, she, uh, like right after recovery, got the anemic trait. So I'd say that it has something to do with her just ha her body having a hard time bouncing back from the loss of blood. And I think that is the 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 reason that she has that, but I don't know. She got shot, as I said. Uh, also, um, I want her to have PTSD. I know that something probably has to trigger having PTSD in this game, 
uh, there's probably something that, like, is there. However, I don't know what to do to make that happen because I made her, like, get into a fight and stuff. Oh, great. Okay, found it. I'm still shocked about the Theo thing and I really don't know. <laughs> Don't know what that's about, but if anything, the, the I mean, the most boring thing to say would be that he's probably he's a spy because that would kind of just like not change the story I have planned at all. And I feel bad about that, like how I feel like everything I do is a cop out, but I'm trying my best to make this story work. I hope you guys aren't like annoyed by the fact that I like kind of make the game do what I want it to instead of just going what it does. Because sometimes the game just doesn't make sense. Um, and sometimes I have a really good story and I just want to do it. So so we're already companions with Daisy because I feel like that you're you're like companions with your therapy dog. You know, your, um, your service dog. So that definitely checks out to me. But I know she'll age up next episode, but I kind of want to cheat this because it's annoying. Like, why do I have to become an adult? Also, I'm not sure if I'm going to get the new pack. Uh for rent i'm not sure i kind of want it and i kind of want to move mira into one of those apartments but i also kind of don't know if i want it considering i don't know if i can afford it um i want to save up for things i don't have a steady income right now i'd like to start commission soon in fact i'm getting a paypal set up right now for that but uh, until then until I have made money or I know that I can make money, I'm probably not going to get it. I also am not going to do a series with it because um, the only option I really would have for that is to play it with Sasha but from my Rosewood Legacy. But I already have a complete plan for her series and it has nothing to do with the for rent world. It, I might get it later, you know, too, but wonderful. Already done. And I heard something break. There are puddles everywhere. Oh no, your computer! Yeah, she's crying over it. I'd cry if my computer broke too, honestly. It's not- Also, I don't know where all of our money went, but our money is gone. Like, look, we only have 1.3k. And we only have, like, a couple hundred in our vet funds. So I'm really scared because I need her to move out. Will she have any furniture when she was out? I mean, I'd love if she didn't, honestly. That would be fun to, like, build it up, you know? But uh, I love building things up and I don't want Zinnia's Jen to be the only one to struggle. Maybe I should also sell the fireworks. I feel like she's kind of out of the stage where she's blowing things up. Just because that was a rude awakening. Um, it was a rude awakening for her to be shot and stuff. So <laughs> she's a little bit matured uh, in a weird way. She's definitely not super mature, especially when it comes to certain things. It definitely... What? What do you mean purchase Robin? Um, where did Buttercup... No. Did I name her Buttercup? Was that her name? Can't remember. Why? Where's my rodent? I literally have one. I did not remember getting a notification that it died or that it disappeared. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not seeing anything. I don't know why that would be, but I guess we'll purchase a rodent. Where's Buttercup? Can I name this one Buttercup too? Maybe this one's gonna be nicer. Did I even name it Buttercup? Did I name it Buttercup? Was Buttercup even its name? I'm too lazy to check, but... If I'm wrong, my bad. No, don't yell at it. No rabid rodent fever today. Oh my gosh, who are you? Oh! That's the guy who got shot. Remember him? This is a guy who got shot and killed instead of Mira, which it wasn't her fault, obviously. Why are you here? I don't have your gravestone. Your gravestone is literally like wherever you died. I don't know, the school maybe? I don't know where this, I don't know. Why are you here? That's actually disgusting that he's here. You better go away. I will, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. You don't know what I want to do with you. You know what? Zinnia would hate you. Zinnia would hate your guts. So you better get out of here because if she finds you, she is not a mean person, but she'd kill you. She would. I give, I get fierce mama bear vibes from Zinnia. If you guys want to woohoo, you never woohoo. She still only has three guitars. Also, I'm gonna sell all these things because, like, you know why. Ooh, sweet. One third, 1.3k. Yay, they're actually doing it. They never do this. Okay, good for them. Uh, out of curiosity, where's the child? No. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're not gonna go upstairs until I tell you you can, okay? I love you, Saf, but you can't do that. No, no, no. Do you wanna? No, you can't do that. Uh, okay. Okay, they're done. Come on up. <laughs> Time for bed. I feel bad that uh, Daisy can't get downstairs. She can't 
go into Mira's room, which really sucks, but I don't know what to do about that. It's okay, once we move out to our apartment, which better let dogs live there, because if they don't let dogs live there, we're gonna have an issue. But when she moves out, I think she might get a second dog, one that's more like a guard dog, because once she isn't with her family, she's definitely gonna be feeling a little bit more vulnerable. Continue making that mobile app, because I really don't understand why it's already saying you did that, but you didn't, so. Staff is at school. Go ahead and make friends, honey. I really want her to have friends. Oh, are you getting excited? Me too. I'm a little dork whenever I'm doing coding or 3D modeling. I'm just like doing exactly what she's doing when she's making a video gamer app. I'm going because I get excited. I'm sorry. She's doing pretty good. Level seven programming. I think that's uh, pretty good. I think we should definitely focus more on programming until she has a kid, which I don't know when that's going to be. I'm lying. I totally know when that's going to be. Um, <laughs> because I plan everything ahead. Uh, in some ways, Vera is so me, and in other ways, I wish I was her. Um, because I'm like not cool, but I have like her personality a little bit, but I'm not cool. And as you know, she's squeamish, but I'm saying she's extra squeamish now that she got shot. And she definitely doesn't like guns, which might be difficult if she becomes a secret agent, but I do have a plan, don't worry. It's not gonna come out of nowhere. I have a plan for her secret agents. It's not gonna be random. Do you want to invite over maybe somebody that you met at school? Maybe Taylor since Willow you don't have good compatibility with? You don't feel anything about her, but invite her over. You could make a friend. Cute, she's in her room with her new friend, Taylor. She loves plant sims. She's like absolutely obsessed with plant sims. They're getting along quite well, I think. Or not. Uh, okay. Can we find out what her trait is maybe? Yeah, we're not getting along great. Oh, that's what that noise is. I, um, I didn't approve of that, but okay. <laughs> it's just from strangers from clingy childhood phase. Oh, so you don't want to make friends? Or maybe you do want to make friends. You just struggle because you feel tense around them. That makes sense. Okay, go to bed. You're going to bed a little early, but I feel like that's sensible for somebody who's recovering. Um, like, obviously, it's been a while. It's been a time skip. I made that on purpose so that she could, like, function as a sim and it be realistic, if you know what I mean. I feel a little bit bad for, like, the end of last episode and the beginning of this episode. Like, she's fine now. Considering what happened, like, I'm acting like she's fine. And I feel bad about that. It feels like a cop-out. It's like, oh, she got shot. And then, like, now she's just okay. Like, that makes me feel like a bad, like, writer. But I don't know what to do with The Sims. She's such a good kid. Taking out all the trash. Her, like, chores and stuff, probably. No. Oh. She's up, it's 3 a.m. I don't think you should be up at 3 a.m., but uh, she's really frustrated with her PTSD right now. So maybe it's giving her a hard time sleeping. In that case, maybe we can get her, try to get our mind off it with some programming of that mobile app. Oh, she's bombing cities. Okay, feel like that's not a healthy way to get out your stress. Oh man, she wants to hack her school grades. I really don't care, bestie, you can do that. I really don't care. I don't think you do either, but if that's like something you really just want to do to like prove to yourself you can do it, you could hack the national security. And if we did that, maybe they would be like, huh, well, even though it kind of sucks that you did that, you're kind of good at it. So like, I don't encourage this behavior. No, I do not. Just saying that to get, I don't know, where I was watching off my back. The government, no. <laughs> the government has better things to do than to watch Sims. Also, I don't think they care. I'm sure there are people in the government who play the Sims and make their Sims kill people. I would do that if I worked for the government. Not that I would ever do that, but like, work for the government, not kill people in the Sims. We know that I do that. But D'Angelo, sure. We met the like D'Angelo at school. Maybe we'll like him even more than we liked the last two people we tried to befriend. You're doing great, Magnolia. I hope this is a fulfilling life for you. I think these two are pretty happy where they are. Like, they, they have those complications with life, like their daughter getting shot and almost dying. But other than that, they're like, they're having a pretty happy, cute little lesbian life. And I love that for them. Uh, ooh, she has good compatibility with- Wait! Wait, 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 that's one of Arya's siblings. That's, uh, Arya's last name. Okay, she's got good compatibility, and that's one of Arya's siblings. Guaranteed to be a good time. We'll, we'll make good friends with D'Angelo then. Uh, speaking of which, also his, his dad did just recently die, so that sucks, but, uh, maybe we can help him out with that. And while we're doing that, we can just invite, you know, we can invite Tech and Mech to come over too, which is still a stupid name, but we'll see. I think this kid actually does look, yeah, 
That kid actually looks so much like Arya. Like, she could be a miracle worker. Why are you an entrepreneur? How are you entrepreneuring right now? Shock, what are you doing? You're so weird. Let's do that thing that I always do with my Sims because I can never stop doing it. Uh, and uh, I don't know if I should go straight in with the hookup, but maybe like ask about another Sim. Like, how do you feel about Arya? I know y'all love each other. Y'all are best friends. You better not say that you don't know her because that will just be a, a lie. I think they're on hugging terms. They never really were on hugging terms before, but I guess her getting shot. I keep bringing it up, but it's like some, it's kind of a big thing, you know? I probably should be bringing it up. I'd like Shaquille, he's pretty cool. Okay, what if you kiss? Because I feel like that's where this should be going. Shaquille sounds like a ch Oh! <gasps> ah! He's so cute! I just kind of love that. They're kind of cute. Like, they're so different, but they're kind of cute. Oh my gosh, look at this child. Completely grooving, I get. Why are you grilling this child? Are you grilling the child, Zinnia? Well, whatever you're do- Oh, jeez. Are you making the- Oh, no, you're not making the child cry. The child's crying because his father died. That would check out. That would check out. Really sorry about that, kiddo. Presley, what's going on? Ooh. No. <laughs> Uh, Mira would not be interested in doing that considering, um, you know, I don't want to say the S word, but I'm going to say the S word. She got shot. <laughs> yeah, D'Angelo, you should probably get going. It's actually, it's not as late as I thought it was. It's just dark because it's winter, but, uh, you should probably get going anyway. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. She's going through a little bit of something here. Uh, because she just like screamed. Uh, let's, let's talk to her a little bit about that. Sure, emotional burden. Uh, can we do this not in this hallway? It's really hard to see. Or we could do it in the hallway. That's really cool as well. Uh, we're gonna do a firm expressing disappointment for shouting forbidden words. I just want to be near my parents. A gentle nudging to play with other children or make friends or even gain skills will help me become more independent. Okay. Okay, how about we tuck her in? I think that's a nice thing. Wait, can we tuck her? No. Darn it. We can't tuck her in in this bed. Okay, well, we can pretend that we're doing that then. <laughs> uh, maybe before bed we can just do some some texts and chats with Presley. I don't think we'll actually have time to invite him over. It's too late for that, but in fact, he might say he's sleeping. He might not respond. Okay, it looks like he did respond. Okay, well, I suppose this is where we're going to leave today's episode off. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time. We're going to age rough and we're going to move out and that's going to be super fun. So, um... Please uh, comment if you feel like commenting because that's literally my favorite thing in the world. It makes my day. Uh, and yeah, I will see you guys next time I see you. <laughs> Bye.